Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and all shades in between and welcome to a React podcast with myself Sean Davis and Roscoe Keniston. Hey. Hi Ross. How's it going? Living the dream. Living the dream. Um, so this this React podcast is all about a particular press conference that finished just a few hours ago and we've had a few hours to mill over what's happened during that press conference and what was announced during that press conference and or what wasn't announced during that press conference mm-hmm. um, <laughs> and um, and we are now going to react to said announcements so let's start the sony let's call it the what they were calling it the playstation meeting um let's start with what was announced first the playstation for slim or yeah. just the playstation 4 as they seem to be calling it that was a so, sh- that was a shock <laughs> really yeah I, I had no idea that this was coming um yes. <laughs> yeah that 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 just that just blew me mind man that was amazing um what i think was interesting <laughs> is that i didn't i did obviously i didn't catch the whole stream i've just i sort of watched it on and off um throughout the night because uh, to be honest you know these things are boring aren't they you only want to get the information and then you just want to go right thank you very much cheers i'll see you next time yeah um, points that's all you need yep. yeah um the slim I mean, it's a, it's a, it's it's a slim PS4, isn't it? I mean, there's no, it doesn't add anything to the original system. It takes away because this one's actually missing an optical drive. Yeah, I find that a bit odd, um, especially given the fact that they want us now to ditch this wonderful console that we have, which has never let me down and works perfectly. Um, and here's a smaller one. With less capabilities. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, man. Well, you see, I, I quite like the idea of this. I, I don't like the idea of the PS4 Slim. I, I see why Sony are doing it because you've got to think now that Christmas is coming up and you've got a lot of kids that are have been begging for a PS4 for two years and they've always been above £300 console only, you know, good deals occasionally. But then you've got this £250 Hey, little Timmy, got you a PlayStation 4 for Christmas. I know it's not the high-end one you wanted, but guess what? It's still a PlayStation 4. It still plays the games. It makes a lot of sense. It's it's cheap to make. It's smaller, so it's cheaper to distribute. Mm-hmm. Um, and it uses a lot less power by the looks of it. For the, the voltage is quite significantly smaller than the PlayStation 4. So business standpoint, I see what they're doing. It you know They're replacing yeah. the existing PS4 with this PS4 Slim. Yeah. So that the kiddies can lap it up Christmas. I get um, the uh, I, I sort of I I understand that from a business perspective, and it, it's probably going to be a nice system if it runs um, a little a little better, or if it, you know, Rocket League still sounds like my PS4 is about to explode every time I play that game. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> like it, it's really strange because I remember that happening when it first came out, and um, and now it's happening again. Um, so if if the PS4 Slim if the units are a little better and they can eradicate things like that, then that's um, it's probably for the best. And it's a good price as well. It's a very good price for the system. Mm. And I'm sure there'll be bundles of, of plenty coming up in uh, Christmas. Yeah. And so the, the PS Slim was announced and then they swiftly moved on to the PS4 Pro. So not what people were expecting, what did you think, Ross? PS4 Pro. What do you think? No, no. <laughs> well, yes. I mean, I'm I'm one of those twats. I'm going to go and get one. Of course, I am on day one. Um, <laughs> I have this, you know, this great big TV behind me, which is fully 4K HDR and all that nonsense. And I want something to use it with. You know, I want it. I want, I want to show it off. And I haven't watched any 4K stuff on it, and I've had it since April. You know what I mean? And so <laughs> it would be nice if I could actually use it for its actual purpose. Um, the console itself looks quite nice. I like the three-tier um, aspect of it. Um, it just gives it an extra an extra edge over the PS4, I guess. Um, but my God, man. They have omitted something which is going to pretty much... I think I think Xbox have got the, have got the power now over this. I really do. And they've got it on their slim. And I find that really interesting. They've omitted the ability 
to play Ultra HD 4K Blu-rays. This is a Sony yes. console. Mm-hmm. Pretty much the creators of Blu-ray who have said, nah, £350 for a pro. It's native 4K. So you can watch Netflix in 4K. You can watch YouTube in 4K. You can do this in 4K. You can probably suck someone's dick in 4K resolution. But that Ultra HD Blu-ray, you're going to have to put that in your Xbox One S. And yes. that blows my mind. I was all ready to get a PS Pro, whatever it's called. It's su- I hate that name, Sean. That name sucks. <laughs> yeah. Why did they not go for PS4K? Why? I mean, that's exactly... Anyway, I'm getting... That's exactly uh, what it should have been. For- but it's... um. I, I can't believe that they've admitted that. And now, because they've done that, it makes me want to get a 1S. Because I want to have a Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray player for my TV. And so now I'm going to have to get a 1S because I thought my PS4 Pro was going to was gonna take care of that. But apparently not. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you played it? Last time what? You played a DVD. Uh, a DVD. Or a Blu-ray. When was the last time you put something physical into your PlayStation 4? Yesterday. Before that? When Deadpool came out on Blu-ray, which was June or July. So, <coughs> twice in three months? That's not the point, Sean. <laughs> what, I, what I'm trying to say is when, when at the first I saw that the PlayStation 4 Pro did not have a 4K Blu-ray player and I thought wow that's a massive admission and then I thought to myself actually I don't care I literally don't care because the last time I put something into my PlayStation that was f- to play I think it was Thief and the, the PlayStation 4 is, is laid dormant no actually it was when I reviewed the, the Dead Nation whatever it was, the zombie game on the island, Dead Rising on the PlayStation 4. Mm-hmm. That, that's the only reason I actually put that into the PlayStation is because they couldn't give me a code. That I, I can't remember the last time I actually went to HMV and bought a Blu-ray or went to Amazon and get, you know what, I actually want to wait two days to watch this, so I'm going to wait two days because that's, that's just not the future. The future is, hey, I want to go to this Sony store and spend the same amount of money to watch the film that I want to watch now, now. So for me, it's it's a forward thinking console in that respect. And I imagine during development, they, they had a choice. They said, okay, do we want to give a 350 pound console for, as a 4K Blu-ray player with the same amount of resolution that we're already given in gaming, or do we want to get near 4K gaming resolution and omit Blu-rays? Mm-hmm. You know, if you want to, I mean, it seems like they're pitching this, this, PS, this PS4 Pro between the Xbox One S and Morpheus because it's twice the power of PS4. You mean Scorpio? It, Scorpio, yeah. What did I just say? Morpheus. You said Morpheus. Um, See, I'm spending too much time watching The Matrix. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's got twice as much power as a PS4. It can play almost 4K resolution. It's not native. It's very, very close to. It's got HDR. It's got a lot of things that, you know, thing people have been asking for for a long time. And it's at a very, very decent price. Hmm. You know, you think you, you could not put a PC together to do that kind of a resolution and offer those kind of options. Because, you know, you look at Rise of the Tomb Raider, right? Rise of the Tomb Raider on PS4 is going to have three different resolution options. It's going to have 4K, it's going to have 1080p at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 30 frames per second with max effects. Mm. So you can play that game however the fuck you want now. That's That's a great option. Yeah. So I don't know. I disagree. <laughs> because I, 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 I don't blame you. <laughs> it's only because it's only because Microsoft have been so smug about it now. Um, I don't know if you saw they right after the PS Pro announcement, they tweeted out the uh, 
all the ticks that the One S can do that the Pro can't. And then, you know, they've still got a console coming out with the end of next year, which yes. presumably is probably going to kick the ass of the PS4 Pro once it's once it's released. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you know, at the end of the day, Microsoft have pretty much thrown in their towel with this generation. From all those ticks, they, if you go down those ticks and it's like 4K resolution, yes, on your Blu-ray, but not on your gaming. Great games. I mean, the, the greatest game, sorry. the great, It's like Donald Trump decided to start calling out <laughs> console features. The greatest games are going to build a wall around PlayStation. We've got We're a console. Here. It's a great console. <laughs> it does console, console things. I replied. I replied to that Xbox tweet. I replied and got, obviously, I upset Xbox Xbox Twitter. And I've been, I've been blocking people on Twitter since. But I'd replied to say, Yes, yes, you do have these things, but let let that just brings out. You've had one retail exclusive this year so far. Quantum Break is the only Xbox One exclusive that has come out in 2016. Most games still struggle to hit 60 frames per second at 900p. That's not acceptable. Mm. Even on your Xbox One S, you're still not getting 1080p 60 frames per second. That is not good enough. No, I agree. Okay. Uh, you, you know, every two months you can watch a Blu-ray in, in 4K. Awesome. But I want <laughs> I want to do that, Sean. That's the problem that I have. Yeah, and I think it's a bit shitty that Sony haven't really given us that option to be able to say, hey, here's a third option. Here's the third option. This is PlayStation 4 Pro 4K, mm. where, where it does have a 4K Blu-ray player. Because I think they've just taken that option away from us and said, yeah. Hey, you know, people are buying games consoles to play games in almost 4K. That's the thing, man. I just want the option. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I find it. I I was Garrett. I was certain it was going to be there. I didn't even think twice that it wouldn't be. I figured it was just the next the next step in the media side of thing. But then this, you know, um, Scully pointed out that it. Uh, it's probably a necessity in due to pushing PlayStation videos 4K streaming. Yeah. Which yeah. I can't stream 4K. I don't know anyone that probably could uh, cleanly um, with, unless they have some crazy fiber internet connection. But I can't stream. I could probably stream 4K Netflix because it runs on a different thing. I could run anything on Netflix. But 4K films straight from PlayStation video, that's not going to happen on my connection. So. That's a bit shitty, to be honest. But overall, overall, I was quite happy. Really, I was quite satisfied with it. I just that one thing I thought was going to be there um, is not going to be there. I wanted a cheap 4K Blu-ray player, and it looks like I'm going to have to go and get that white box full of <laughs> games that I yeah. don't want to play. Let, let me put let me put it to you this way: if if the PS4 Pro was £450 and had a 4K Blu-ray player. Mm. Would you still go out and get it? Yes. Yes. Okay. The thing is, because it's all in because it's all in one, it's all the games that I already own, and it's all the games that I want to play from here on in, and it's the 4K Blu-ray, which is something that, personally, I wanted out of the Pro. And yeah. so, irregardless, I knew I was going to be buying one because I'm a dick. And so it was kind of irregardless. I just wanted to know when it was coming out. And so I, yeah, I would have bent at the knee of Sony if they threw in Ultra HD. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks like I'm going to, I'm going to be getting myself a one S to indulge that particular side of my media things. I'm still very physical when it comes to films. I'm not a huge fan of uh, PlayStation video or anything like that. I don't like yeah. buying, I like having, physical movies like i've got the, the force awakens blu-ray deadpool uh civil war that i was watching yesterday so you know um I'm, I'm quite old school still i suppose in that sense but my games as you know are all digital um yes bar, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> bar the uh, <laughs> bar dimensions and, and the like obviously so yeah i don't know man but you're um you are you are moving in the uh in in the digital direction more so than me yeah i, I, I... I have 56 um, PlayStation movies now purchased. And most of those are purchased because they are good for the kids. So, you know, I can I can put it on the PlayStation 4. I can put it on the PlayStation 3 upstairs. I can put it on the PlayStation Vita if I really want to. And then if I'm on the phone, I've got the PlayStation movies app on my phone on the Sony 
Xperia Z5 Premium. So, you know, it's got, I can do 4K streaming on my phone, you know, this, <laughs> and, and, and that's, that's the great thing about having this, this service now, the fact that if I, if I buy something on an Ultra HD Blu-ray, which to be honest with you, it isn't going to be a format for the longest time anyway. I just want to H two Ultra HD two. I just want to be there before it's cool, and man. It's already kind of. I just want to be there, but like, yeah, 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 yeah. What's going like, on? It's. It'd be nice to have that kind of a, you you know, I actually did see four K movies before they became eight K movies or whatever the hell it's going to be now. It's not going to be eight K. It can't be eight K. <laughs> Well, there are some, there are some, there are some eight K capable TVs already out there. I know that. Um, I know. Uh, who was it? It probably was Sony actually. I was um, when I was at the gadget show, they were showing off their eight K TV, a ninety two inch, eight K thing. I mean, you know, it was bloody unbelievably astonishing. But it's not going to become the norm until probably PS five, maybe maybe even PS six, at this rate. I don't know. Yeah. Nobody fucking needs that TV. Nobody needs yeah. a TV that big. Nobody. Um, uh, I didn't. Um, I didn't see any of the game footage, bar Horizon. Um, I don't know if you saw any more than I did. Yeah. So they had Spider Man running at 4K. They had um, Infamous First Light running in 4K, and they had quite a massive chunk of uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, cool. Uh, um, yeah, it wasn't. I'll be honest with you that I mean that that footage looked a bit janky. I'll be honest, but it's it is still pre-alpha from what I gather, so mm. that it didn't look as good as I was expecting from Mass Effect Andromeda. But it did look good. There was some really nice aspect. There was this one part where the, the main character is running across this platform, and then suddenly the bridge starts to build up around him, like you know when Magneto is in an X Men the film. Mm. He just decides he wants to walk across, and all these metal plates keeps forming. On- underneath his feet. It right. was like that under on, on the game. That was really impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, but aside from that, it didn't look like anything really special. And I'm, I'm interesting to see what PS4 Pro actually brings to a lot of these games. I know that the Tomb Raider options, the Rise of the Raider options, are pretty impressive. And obviously the extra power for VR, giving people the ability to actually make their VR games the VR games they actually want to make. Yeah. So... That, that, that's great. But then, you know, for, for people who don't have a 4K TV, I don't have a 4K TV. I have a 60-inch plasma, which will do 1080p, but it's not 4K. Mm. I don't really know if that's going to be a massive impact for me. I'm not sure. I don't know. Are you uh, are you considering purchasing a PS4 Pro? I am, depending on... I mean, the, the, the main the main driving force for me is, is PSVR. Yeah. You know, the... <laughs> you doing some yoga though? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm just getting I'm getting comfy. I'm sat on the floor right now. Um, yes. So you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about it for PlayStation VR more than anything. Yeah. I'm thinking that that this this will give developers the, the, the worst thing is you've tried bad VR and mm. I've tried bad VR. What's up, your flesh anything. and blood? <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we played some bad bad vr games mm-hmm. and and the worst thing is i can't i, I really don't want to spend 350 pounds on a headset and then have a console that just can't hack it when it's when it's there mm-hmm. you know I, I want to be able to have a console that will push <laughs> that headset Absolutely. so that's half the reason why i canned my pre-order yesterday i was th- i was thinking about it for so long and um it just what really got me was 350 quid, which is the price of the PS4 Pro, right? Yes. And no, it's just the PS VR is good. When it's good, it's good, man. Freaking rigs is un- is insane, but yeah, sup beyond flesh and blood, you ruined it all for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I've just noticed you've got a Marvel t-shirt on and you're drinking Pepsi. And yes, I've got a DZ t-shirt on and I'm drinking Coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you've got, you know, Suicide Squad and and you've got the killing joke behind you. So, you know, yeah. this is Marvel versus Cap versus DC. I was going to say Cap yeah. on them. <laughs> I've played too many games. <laughs> yeah, I've really I've really DC'd my uh my my little flat up, which is annoying considering both of their films suck dick this year. <laughs> but <laughs> 
What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's given for scores out of 10 for the reveal of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, seven. I mean, it's, it's, seven. it's still going to be a, it's going to be a cracking system. And if this is the one that it's got to be more than three years, I've got, I want the PS4 Pro to be it for probably the rest of the generation. Because I'm not shelling out yeah. another £350 three years later for the PS4 Pro Plus edition. <laughs> with yeah, that doesn't play Ultra HD Blu-rays. Whilst the whilst Project Scorpio becomes the most powerful behemoth in the history of video gaming, and somehow PlayStation gets left behind, which is are, are you worried about that? Are you, you know, you said that you you're pretty much going to buy a PS4 Pro. Are you worried that in a year's time? Obviously, Microsoft are literally throwing in the towel with the Xbox One and are going, okay, we're bringing out a new console. This is a new generation. We are th- chucking all the money at it. It's obviously, Sony won't rest on their laurels, but they won't want to release the PlayStation 5 or whatever they want to call the next console mm. in, in any time soon. If they're going to release this PS4 Pro, they're not going to want to go, hey, PS, PS5 comes out in two years. They don't want to do that. No. Are you worried that, are you worried that once you once you've bought this PS4 Pro in a year's time, it will look shit compared to the Scorpio? Oh, completely. Yeah, there's there's a genuine fear that Sony are for being two steps ahead. I think they're now one step behind, and I think dropping two consoles like this, especially so soon, I'm happy that the that the Neo or the PS4 Pro, which is oh, it's so shit. What a crap name, Sean. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> Um, for the for the PS Pro, um, yeah, I think it's probably the the right thing that the thing it had to do, and I'm glad that it's coming out soon. But at the same time, this gives Microsoft still another year to beef up Scorpio even more. And Scorpio, you know, we 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 all saw it at E3. It's going to be something pretty special, I'd imagine. And I'm I, I don't mind that at all. I'm I'm excited to see what the hell this thing is. And I was expecting a little more from. From uh, from Sony uh, in terms of the PS4 Pro, I was expecting it to be at least matching the Scorpio. But I mean, who knows? In a year's time, when Scorpio comes out, it's gonna it's gonna crap all over everything, except for NX. That's gonna kick ass forever. And uh, <laughs> hey, NX will do full 1080p in 2018. Deal with it. Yeah, of course it will. <laughs> and, oh man, I can't wait for NX. Bring it on. That's the one I'm most looking forward to out of all of them. <laughs> um, I think Just buy an iPhone. Oh, dang! Super Mario on iOS, it hurts, man. It hurts. But um, I think I think PS4 Pro. It's almost like a. It's it doesn't feel like a long term solution. I'm hoping it will be. I'm hoping this is it now for this generation. Um, but Xbox have played their cards so quickly with Scorpio that. I don't know. Maybe PS4 Pro feels rushed. It could be rushed out right out out of the gate. Sony didn't need to push PS4 Pro so quickly. I don't think they could have gone into this Christmas with the slim, like like Xbox have done. Um, but I don't know. It's interesting. Maybe it will work in their favor. They'll have a massive, um, obviously, lead in sales by the time Scorpio comes out. But I don't know. Is Scorpio? The next Xbox One, or is it just the, the successor to it? Is it the Xbox Two? As I don't know, are Sony going to have a console ready for next Christmas? Probably not. No, definitely not. So this is where it leaves them. You know, Scorpio is going to come out, and they're going to have a year-old console that they're still trying to push. So, yeah. I mean, but this, no. this is this is this this was the state with the PS3 and the Xbox 360. You know, the Xbox 360 was out more than a year before the PS3 launched. And, you know, that that was a bad move from Sony. Plus the price. The price was eye-wateringly stupid. But, yeah. you know, what you've got to think is in the long, longer term. So right now, they Sony have, have stopped selling the PlayStation 4. That's it. The PlayStation 4, as we know it, is now gone. They've replaced it with the £250, this is for your kids. And they've replaced it with the £350, which is the one that pretty much every gamer who is is worth their swords and has a decent TV and wants the best of the best right now gets that. Mm. 
now that they've got that they've got the run of the farm for a year you know basically for the next year up until scorpio releases they have the best console on the market but obviously they're not sitting and going hey job well done guys that's good r d they are now looking at playstation 5. now if scorpio does release next year Sony won't release a new console next year. I can guarantee that. There's, and I will put money, I will bet my house on Sony not releasing a PlayStation 5 next year. So that means that Sony had then have years of development time before they release the PlayStation 5. Mm. And at that point, they release a console which is better than Scorpio. And then the ball is back into Microsoft's court to, to see what they can do. You know, this back and forth now, this is why I think the console market's totally boned because the NX might come out to be the shittiest, technically shittiest console out of the three and still do a Wii on everybody. You know, it might have the best gimmick, which just completely fuck everybody's technical plans. Mm-hmm. The Wii did. You know, everyone was like, oh, God, what the fuck is the Wii? And then every fucker bought one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. My nan had one. My nan bought one. I don't, she doesn't even fucking play games. My nan's got a Wii <laughs> under a TV. I don't understand, you know. So, you know, who knows? But it does seem like a bit of a letdown. I was expecting more from that, that press conference, to be honest. Yeah, Sony now. I, I... We've got one of these bad boys. Thanks, we. <laughs> Sitting in my drawer doing absolutely nothing. After you've just cancelled your PlayStation VR. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. Brilliant. I know. I got these and I was like, hooray! I'm one step closer to, to virtual reality. And then I was like, oh, I don't want it now. <laughs> so Shocking. I will get it eventually. Shocking. But I think it, it needs it needs time. Maybe PSVR two. That'll be Sony's big thing next year. We'll see. Yeah, I expect iterations of that as well, to be honest. Unless it absolutely tanks, like the move. And then we're stuck with just controllers again. The move didn't tank. The move didn't tank. The move is the, the greatest thing, you know, just like Wonderbook. The the, oh, the man. move is a wonder. The Wonder Book was brilliant. Don't I didn't want no, 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 to mock no. the Wonder As an Xbox 360 owner in that generation, I was so jealous of the Wonder Book. It looked really cool. Yeah, I... uh, honestly, the, the Harry Potter games. He, it, I'm, I'm going to when you next come and visit. When you actually come to visit my house, I'm going to get my PlayStation 3 downstairs, plug it in. I'm going to get Wonder Book out, and we can play Book of Spells and Book of Potions. Oh, mate. Harry Potter games. It's amazing. I'm so excited. Yeah, and you get to see your own face on the on the screen going, "Yeah, I made a potion. It's amazing." Oh, mate, mate, that's or something like that. That's that's life, right there. That's all I need. And I'll have Luna on my side, and we'll just yeah. oh, yeah, oh, mate, that's a dream. Anyway, I've I've had another dog today. I've had another Shih Tzu. You've got another dog, and now. yeah, is it? Is in is in the kennel. Is is he looks exactly like Chewbacca, so we called him Chewy. Oh, that's so cool. Um, and he's going to Star Wars lead now on payday. Anyway. I I would I would <laughs> let's get back on track. You got a bit I, I would rate that yeah, just a little bit. Um I would I would rate that conference as a five as I was expecting more. I was expecting them to show me why I should buy that console. And I, I wasn't given a reason. I probably will buy one because you know, one day soon I'm probably gonna need a new TV. I'll probably buy a four K one mm. and then I'll already have a console that plays them. Mm. But and and you know, PS PSVR, if it does offer a massive boost in performance with PSVR, then I'll be happy with that too. Yeah. But, you know, there, there were just one, I mean, Mass Effect Andromeda seemed like the complete wrong game to show off. I don't know why, you know, I'm just surprised they didn't get like Crytek to turn up with a new Crisis game. Just go look at all the motherfucking pixels yeah. and, <laughs> and really show what the fuck this console could do. Instead, they got you know, pre-alpha build of Mass Effect Andromeda, which... Yeah. Mm. Anyway, have you got any final thoughts for this reaction podcast? Um, I'm looking forward to Super Mario Run. That's uh, that's that's going to be good. I was watching the Apple event before the uh, before I went to work, and it was uh, it was exciting, man, with their new iPhone, which Tim Cook said is the best one they've ever made. And you're thinking, well, fucking yeah, of course it is. Why would you say anything Did otherwise? Did they have it in the same place? The same place they had as in last year's conference? I don't think so. Or... It looked it looked bigger and wider. I think they went they went okay. big this year. The reason I ask is because I'm pretty sure I've been hearing the same fucking phrase for the last six years. So I'm just guessing is, is that an echo? <laughs> They're from like six years ago. <laughs> the best phone we've ever made, ever made, ever made, ever made. 
just fucking bullshit. They just um, drag out Steve Jobs out of a grave and just go, this is the best phone ever. <laughs> yeah, and it probably okay. is. Who knows? I don't know. Um, in terms of yeah, PlayStation, um, it was it was a disappointing thing overall. I think for everyone, um, I think we were expecting to be collectively mind blown, and we were like, oh, okay, just it's a PS4 with 4K and a bit of extra juice. Huzzah! A lot of extra juice. <clears throat> and here I am going. Fuck it. When's the pre-order open? When do I get one? <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Okay, I'll be there. Damn it! And uh, <laughs> looking to fob off my, uh, my 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 dear old PS4. I might keep it. I don't know. I'm not sure. We shall see. Okay then. Um, there's an option, obviously, to transfer content from this PS4 to the new one. So I'll have to do that first, I guess. Yeah. You're not tempted by a PS Slim then? PS4 Slim. Oh, no, no, no. I have that console already. I don't want to buy another no. one. No, you, you don't want a, a disc like, just disc driveless PS4 to open your door, just like as a, a doorstop. Mm. It's very doorstop shaped. It doesn't matter to me, because when, N- when NX comes out, it's going to blow your fucking mind. <laughs> so don't even try it. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait to do the reaction podcast with you for the NX, and you're yeah. just like, oh, wow, that was so meh. <laughs> No, if it is what they say it is, if, if what what we keep hearing is what it is, it is going to blow my fucking mind, and I am so excited because I do a lot. Of, I do a lot of commuting. I do a lot of train journeys and things. If I can sit there and play a brand new full HD Zelda with a little controller, and then plug it in when I get home, hell to the yes. Give it and to me. How much are you betting me now that it's actually an arcade cabinet? That you <laughs> just wheel it out. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I booked a table, okay. didn't I? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> no, man. I'm, I'm excited for NX. PS Slim. It's a PS4. Fuck it. And PS4 Pro. It's, it is great. It's going to be great. But Sony have got to stick by it. They can't be releasing another console again in two years. They just can't. And Fair I, enough. I hope that it, uh, I hope that it sees them through until the inevitable PlayStation Five, where we stick controllers into our earlobes and get it blasted into our eyes. Okay. Ah, it's late. I'm going to stop <laughs> you right there. <laughs> Ross is obviously very tired. It is past midnight here in the UK. It's half past twelve. It so yes, we're going to leave it there. Um, we're looking forward to seeing more of PS4 Pro at Tokyo Game Show on the 13th of September. Trinity, get ready, man. It's going to be a little Vita coming. You know it. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that we'll, we'll see what happens there. And um, if you've liked this or you want to tell us to fuck off, please visit the comments section. Um, <laughs> um, if you didn't like us, please subscribe. We'd love to piss you off some more. And um, <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for watching if you have watched this. Um, toodle pip. Toodles. Bye. Some culture.